This is the story of Mr. Wiggle and Mr. Waggle. Mr. Wiggle lived in a house and Mr. Waggle lived in a house. One day, Mr. Wiggle decided to go see Mr. Waggle. So he opened the gate and he came outside Boop. and he closed the gate and then he went up the hill and down the hill and up the hill and down the hill and up the hill and down the hill until he came to Mr. Waggle's house. Knock, knock, knock. Knock, knock, knock. No Mr. Waggle. So he went up the hill and down the hill and up the hill and down the hill and up the hill and down the hill until he came back home. And then he opened the gate and he went inside Boop. and he closed the gate. Well, a little time passed and Mr. Waggle decided that he was going to go see Mr. Wiggle. So he opened the gate and he came outside Boop. and he closed the gate and then he went up the hill and down the hill and up the hill and down the hill and up the hill and down the hill until he came to Mr. Wiggle's house. Knock, knock, knock. Knock, knock, knock. No Mr. Wiggle. So we went up the hill and down, the hill and up the hill and down, the hill and up the hill and down the hill, until he got home. And then he opened the gate. And he went inside Boop. and the gate closed. Well, a little more time passed and then Mr. Wiggle and Mr. Waggle decided they wanted to go see each other. So they opened the gate and they came outside Boop. and they closed the gate. And then they went up the hill and down the hill and up the hill and down the hill until they met in the middle. Hello, Mr. Waggle. Hello, Mr. Wiggle. How are you today? Good, how are you? And they talked and talked and talked. Until it was time to go home. Goodbye, Mr. Waggle. Goodbye, Mr. Wiggle. And then they went up the hill and down the hill and up the hill and down the hill and up the hill and down the hill until they got home. And they opened the gate. And they went inside. And the gate closed. And then they went to sleep. The end. I'll be red and you be blue. When red speaks, it's my turn. When blue speaks, it's your turn. Let's give it a try. Oh my. No more pie. Pie's too sweet. I want a piece of meat. Meat's too red. I think I'll eat some bread. Bread's too brown. I think I'll go to town. Town's too far. I think I'll take a car. Car won't go. Oh my. 
No more pie. You know what? I was over in the meadow again today and I still could not get that frog out of the grass. Would you try to help me? Could you take your stick and just hold your stick up right there and can you stir that grass and see if you can help me get that frog out. Frog in the meadow, can't get him out. Take a little stick and stir him about. How about the other hand? Let's try the other stick. Frog in the meadow, can't get him out. Take a little stick and stir him about. How about your elbow? Frog in the meadow, can't get him out. Take a little stick and stir him about. Still not coming out. Try another one. Frog in the meadow, can't get him out. Take a little stick and stir him about. You have to be kidding me. Well, let's try one more time. How about our nose? Can you try with your nose? Frog in the meadow, can't get him out. Take a little stick and stir him about. Still cannot get that frog out of the meadow. Today I brought an instrument to class called the tambourine. Can you say tambourine? The tambourine makes this sound. Now we're going to play a game with the tambourine. Do you remember when we played Are You Moving or Not? And I had you fill the floor. Why don't we do that right now? Either fill the floor or your desk in front of you, something that's very still, and see what that feels like. Is it moving? No. It's froze. It doesn't move. So remember when I say freeze, you're going to be as still as the floor. But today, I'm gonna to give you some body parts to move. So would you take one hand and would you just move that hand like this? Okay, not your whole arm, not like this, just your hand. Do you know what this part of your body right here is called? Your wrist. All I want you to do is move from your wrist down. Can you show me that? Good. So one wrist, here we go. Shake, 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 freeze. Are you as still as the floor? Here we go. Other wrist, switch hands. Shake, 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 freeze. Now this time I might go longer. I might do a few more shakes than I just did. Would you move, move both hands at your wrist? Here we go. Shake, 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 freeze. Are you as still as the floor? Would you take one foot and would you move just that one foot, not your whole leg? If this is your wrist, do you know what this part of your leg and foot is that you just move your foot? Do you know what that's called? There's a little bump there right above your foot. That's your ankle. Can you say ankle? Good. You're going to move just from your ankle down. Here we go. And you can put that foot down so that you don't fall over. Are you as still as the floor? Are you moving or not? No, we're still right now. Would you switch to the other foot? Remember, we're moving at the ankle. Here we go. And you can lower that down so you don't fall. Chop, chop, chippity chop. 
cut off the bottom, cut off the top. What we have left, we'll put in the pot. Chop, chop, chippity chop. What should I put in the soup? Hmm. Broccoli, great idea. Take your broccoli, put it on the chopping block. Here we go. Chop, chop, chippity chop. Cut off the bottom, cut off the top. What we have left, we'll put in the pot. Chop, chop, chippity chop. What should I put in the stew? Carrots, yes, carrots. Grab your carrots, put them on the chopping block. Here we go. Chop, chop, chippity chop. Cut off the bottom, cut off the top. What we have left, we'll put in the pot. Chop, chop, chippity chop. What should I put in the stew? Oranges? Sure, why not? Grab your orange, put it on the chopping block. Chop, chop, chippity chop. Cut off the bottom, cut off the top. What we have left, we'll put in the pot. Chop, chop, chippity chop. Listen to my rhyme. Engine, engine number nine, running down Chicago line. See it sparkle, see it shine. Engine, engine number nine. Engine, engine number nine, running down Chicago line. See it sparkle, see it shine. Engine, engine number nine. Would you take your hands and put them together like this? And would you rub them together like they're a scraper? Engine, engine number nine, running down Chicago line. See it sparkle, see it shine. Engine, engine number nine. Now I have some pool noodle scrapers and I'm gonna use these scrapers to make a scraping sound like sand blocks. Engine, engine number nine, running down Chicago line. See it sparkle, see it shine. Engine, engine number nine. One more time. Engine, engine number nine. Running down Chicago line. See it sparkle, see it shine. Engine, engine number nine. Let's keep a steady beat. Now, let's take that steady beat and let's put it into groups of two. Two here, two there. Two here, two there. Two here, two there. Two here, two there. Now, let's move that 
to another part of our body. Let's put it here. Keep the steady beat first. Now let's move it and put it into groups of two. Two here, two there, two here, two there, two here, two there, two here, two there. Now let's move it to the other arm. Keeping it steady. Two here, two there, two here, two there. Now let's keep the beat in groups of two with classical music. Mother, we bzz, said the five. 
over in the meadow in a nest built of sticks lived an old mother crow and her little crow six caw said the mother we caw said the six so they caught and were glad in their nest built of sticks over in the meadow in the green wet box lived an old mother frog and her seven little frogs jump said the mother we jump said the frogs so they jumped and were glad in the green wet box over in the meadow by the old mossy gate lived an old mother lizard and her little lizards ate bask said the mother we bask said the eight so they bask and were glad by the old mossy gate over in the meadow by the old scotch pine lived an old mother duck and her little duckies nine quack said the mother we quack said the nine so they quacked and were glad by the old scotch pine over in the meadow in a warm little den lived an old mother beaver and her little beavers ten build said the mother we build said the ten so they 